Simple and Compound Machines, Grade 11, General Science, Quarter 1, Content Number 2. Hello, Grade 11 learners. This video lesson is a response to your request. Hope you learned a lot from this video lesson. Based on the depth and curriculum, these are the learning competencies that we are going to discuss today. So we have learning competency number four and number five. Learning competency number four, apply concepts of translational and rotational motion to design and build prototypes of efficient simple and compound machines. Number five, explain the characteristic of efficient simple and compound machines. So let's start our discussion with the characteristic of efficient, simple, and compound machines. Characteristic number one, high mechanical advantage. So it reduces effort needed. So example, lever lifting heavy load. Characteristic number two, low energy loss. So it minimizes friction or heat. Example, Ball bearing in pulleys. Characteristic number three, effective energy conversion. It converts input to useful work. Example, bicycle gears. Characteristic number four, smart machine combination. Effective use of simple machines. So example, can opener. Characteristic number five, high efficiency ratio output over input work times 100%. So example, pulley system with bearings. Characteristic number six, easy to use and maintain. So it is long lasting and safe. Example, regularly oiled tools. Okay, so let us now have a review on the concept of simple machines. So when we say simple machine, it is the most basic device that performs work. It exerts a single force on a single load and typically serves as a basic element in the creation of more complex compound machines. It does not have an energy source, which means they cannot accomplish more work than the amount of the work applied to them during their operation. So here are the six categories of the simple machines. So number one, we have lever. A lever is a device that uses a surface situated on a fulcrum to move an object. So it is used to lift or move loads. Scissor is an example of this machine. Wheel and axle. The wheel turns around and the axle to move loads. So example, bicycle and clock. Pulley is a tool with a wheel and a rope. It is used to lift or move loads. Example, elevator. Next, we have wedge. A device that has two inclined converging planes to split or separate objects. Another we have screw. Screw are simple tools that helps to fasten two objects together. So take a look at the examples. And lastly, we have the inclined plane. An inclined plane is a tool with a flat surface and elevated at one end to move object more easily. So when we say compound machines, it is a machine that consists of two or more simple machines. Examples of compound machines are the following.
Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much. I hope you learned a lot. And please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.